In this video, we're going to show you just a really basic but neat little trick here inside CorelDRAW. Now, there are lots of rhinestone programs out there in the marketplace, and I really like working in CorelDRAW for lots of reasons. But what I want to show you here is an example of how we can take our rhinestone artwork and quickly use it for other things besides rhinestones. So here's a, just a little Valentine's Day design that we did. Real simple little design. And if we select our design here, and then here in Easy Stone, we can go to the Stone tab. We've already set our stone size and our spacing, and just click Add Stones. And you can see we created a great little design, right? Really quick, really simple, really easy. So that's cool. But what about the rest of it? And that's what I want to show you. So here's, a, here's another little trick that has nothing to do with rhinestones, but we could definitely sell to our customers. So let me show you. We're just going to select our entire design, come into CorelDRAW, and we have this outline pen dialog box. Let's go ahead and open that up. Now this will take a little bit of fussing with because we don't know exactly what settings are going to look good, but let me just show you the general premise. So what we're going to do is change our, and our line caps. We're going to change our corners instead of pointed. We're going to get round. And in the preview, you see our nib shape is round. If I click somewhere, just click anywhere in this little box, see how our nib shape changed from a perfect circle? So let's click and drag inside this box. See, we can move it around, do all kinds of stuff. Let's do it like that. Now, let's change the thickness of our stroke. Let's try five pixels. I don't know what's going to work, but let's try five pixels. And I click OK. And now you can see it's it's very thin. So we need something bigger than five pixels. So let's try like 20 pixels or maybe 50 pixels. So let's just come, let's try 60 pixels. I don't know. Whatever, whatever we want to try, we can try a couple of different values here. So there's 60 pixels. Isn't that cool? And what's cool about this is because, let me go back and show you this so you really understand this. So because this is at an angle, what happens is it, it, it says calligraphy. So it looks as if there's some of these lines are thicker and thinner, and that's because of the way the pen kind of as if we were using a calligraphy pen. So that's pretty cool, right? Now, if we look at this in wireframe mode, you're going to see just our original lines, right? But if we go back in here, so I have all my, so I'm back in enhanced mode. I'm going to right click and choose this option. Um, actually, I don't know if it's available under right click. Convert to curves combined now. We may have to go up to the arrange menu. And this is what we want convert outline to object. So when I choose that option, now let's go into wireframe. And now you can see all these lines. Now we do have a bunch of overlapping lines, right? But we can take care of that in one full swoop. So we select the whole bit there and hit merge. And now you have a perfect, clean vector line that you can send to your cutter. You can cut this out of heat press vinyl material. If you want to put it on a shirt, you can cut it out of sign vinyl. You could cut this out of glitter. You could do all kinds of different things. Because we're using CorelDRAW, you can take that existing artwork that we're using for rhinestones and just a real quick little modification like that, you can utilize this for all kinds of different things. And if you're using a dedicated rhinestone software, you don't have that luxury of also creating this type of artwork for other types of things that you might be doing. So just something to consider when you're deciding about uh, rhinestone software and some of the different capabilities that we have here in CorelDRAW that we wouldn't have if we were using some kind of dedicated rhinestone software. 